We've come 60 miles now to the east coast to visit Mr and Mrs Edwards of Skegness, the 1996 Perth National winners. Good afternoon Arthur. Good afternoon. Thanks very much for having me around to see the pigeons today. How long have you been in the sport? I've been in the sport for 25 years. Yeah, what as um, one or two of your best positions you've won? Uh, 1993, I was first, second, third, fourth club, first, second section, first, second open, first and second Peter and District Championship Fraserborough. Yeah, that's good, good performance. 1994, I was first and fourth open NRCC Championship Club Berwick. Was that Young Bird race? Young, young Birds. Nineteen ninety three I was six section six open NRCC Perth all birds. Nineteen ninety five I was fifth open NRCC Berwick Young Birds. Nineteen ninety six first section first open NRCC Perth. Yeah, congratulations on that. Great performance mate. Thank you. This is my nineteen ninety six NRCC Perth winner. He's a 94 bred pigeon. What strain is he in Arthur? He's a stuffed van reet, cock, and he was sent to the race sitting 12 days. So he's a natural pigeon? He's sent on natural. Has he won anything previously? No, it was only his fourth race of his life. Yeah, nice looking cock, isn't he? Yeah, he is. What system do you race your birds on in Arthur? I race my, all my pigeons on natural. You so you like natural racing? I prefer natural. I've tried widowhood and it didn't suit me, so yeah. I went back to natural and been winning ever since. Yeah. What uh, sort of distance you like to race your pigeons? My main, I like the main distance is from two to four hundred mile. Yeah. How about feeding your birds? What do you feed them on? I feed me all my birds on Buckton's widowhood. Yeah. So you like a light mixture? A light mixture. I've, I feed similar to a widowhood man, but yeah. I race my pigeons natural. Well, I thought I'd seen it all, Arthur, but your loft is a converted um, caravan, I see. I'll tell you, what a good idea. How many sections have you got? It's got five sections. Three for old birds, one for young birds, and one for stock birds. Yeah, and you just trap them through the just, stall traps? Yeah, through the stall traps. Yeah, it's incredible. I've never seen that before. Yeah, smart job. This is a scene inside one of Arthur's old bird sections. How many pairs of old birds do you keep then, Arthur? I keep 12 pairs. That gives me 24 race birds. Yeah, when do you pair them up? They usually pair up about the end of January, begin beginning of February, depending on what the weather's like. These are young birds in Arthur. How many babies do you breed each year? Uh, for myself, for my own racing purpose, I usually breed about 36. Yeah. Anything other than that lot of breeders usually gifted to various clubs or... Yeah. Uh, how far do you race your babies? My, my, my young ones go all the way through to Berwick, 202 miles. Yeah. How about training? Training, they have about three weeks training before the first race. And once they're into the first race, they don't get trained anymore. No. This is a blue checker cock, 94 pigeon, that won Berwick NRCC National in 94. Winning the national for 79 yards a minute. A nice cock. He's related to your Perth national, isn't he? He's a full brother. Same year bred. Not nest mate, but he's a full brother. Mm, so he's a Van Reek pigeon as well? He's a staff Van Reek cock as well. Yeah. Well, when you race your babies, do you race them all right to the perch? No. I usually pick out about 12 early bred young birds that are pairing up, put them in a section on their own, and let them go to nest, and I try to race them to eggs. Yeah, so I, feel, I feel it gives them a little advantage. Yeah. Just to get them through extra yards out of them. So when he won the Young Bird National, was he um, yes, paired up? This cock was sitting 12 days when he went to the Young Bird National in 1994. What strains of pigeons do you keep then, Arthur? Uh, mainly my main strain is stuff van reeds. Yeah. Uh, about 80% stuff van reeds. Uh, yeah. I have a foo, conipius. Uh, some jan food jan hardens, uh, and that's about it. Yeah, how about training your old birds? Where training the tra old birds, they, they usually have about six training tosses before the first race, which will start at say 5, 10, 15, 20 mile. And after the first race, they don't, they don't get trained anymore. They just race. Just race, but they do fly around 
ran the loft mm. very well. What did you find your best pigeons, your ends or your cocks? Uh, probably slightly to the cocks, but yeah. uh, my hens are, their hens are as good as the cocks, and that's the re partly the reason probably why I prefer the natural system, because I'm racing good hens and good cocks, yeah, rather both than in, wasting yeah. good hens. So you're both national winners and cocks? They were cocks, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I have won, I have topped the fed and won club races with the hens as well, so. Yeah, yeah. A good family of pigeons. Good family of pigeons, yeah. This is the main cock of my stock loft. He's a Staff Van Reet cock, five year old. He's bred now two national winners, four fed winners, and about 25 club winners. Yeah, and uh, he's a lovely cock, isn't he? Yes, he's a beautiful cock. Where do they originate from, your Van Reets? Uh, all my Van Reets originate from Tranquility Lofts, Mr and Mrs T Mardens of Layoff. This is the Blue Checker stock hen, mate to the blue cock that we've just saw. Again, Staff Van Reet. And she's the, one that's the, the, the dam of two national she's, winners? Yes, yeah, she's the dam of two national winners, four fed winners and about 25 club winners. Yeah. How many stock birds do you keep then, Arthur? Uh, I roughly keep about eight pairs of stock birds, uh, about six pair of them are staff van reets and I usually keep a couple of pair of stock birds for the distance races, Lyric. Yeah, the quality of this pair, you don't need many pairs like them, do you, the breeding two national winners? <laughs> no. Incredible pair of pigeons. When you're selecting uh, stock birds, Arthur, what do you go for? Uh, mainly I go for matching the breeder's eye to a racing eye. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really a believer in eye sign, but I find that uh, a racing eye and a breeding eye do breed the better yeah. pigeons. I noticed that at that last hen, the mother of the two national winners, was a fantastic eyed pigeon, wasn't she? Beautiful. Yeah, she's got a very good eye. Yeah, do you ever go in for eye sign shows? Or? Uh, now and again, not very often. I'm not yeah. really a, a showman as such, but yeah. I, do, I do show a little bit, not a lot. Yeah. These are behind us are our lovebirds. Yeah. Do you like the pigeons in, Sue? Sometimes. <laughs> Do you? You, yeah. cock, you cock in most Saturdays, you were saying. Some Saturdays, when yeah. it's work. Yeah, he's a butcher, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, thanks very much for having me around today, both of you. Okay, it's and a Congratulations on winning the national. Thank you very Thank much. You. And all the best from Lyric this weekend.